بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing we'll try to understand the how it relates with sdn which is software defined networking so the same thing network automation and software defined networking so sdn stands for software defined networking it is the future uh, of networking automation so in software defined networking we will be using some kind of softwares or the applications are going to control the hardware or the networking devices so which means uh, in simple words we are going to say that we'll be using some kind of application or the software on the centralized device we call it as controller so i'll talk about more on this controller probably in our next topic so probably this controller the centralized device where you are going to run this application is going to decide how the traffic is being forwarded means whether just like we have stp if you are running stp stp runs in your network and stp decides the forwarding path right if you are using routing routing protocols will decide the forwarding path which are installed inside the device which is going to do the control plane job where where it is going to decide the forwarding path but that's no more decided by the devices so the actual uh, decisions will be taken by the controller so so this particular software resides inside the device called controller we call this as sdn controller so so what exactly this and how how it's going to relate with automation let's let's try to see here so if you take a simple example over the years let's say you you got a network so if you just take a simple example of a network here so any network which is being built so how we are going to build the network normally so when you the first thing you go you're going to design you're going to design like how many clients you have and how many servers you require and what are the different types of servers again and what are the the number of switches routers firewalls so all these things you are going to design and based on that you are going to build the network so the next thing is once you design your network the next step is you provide some kind of connectivity and once you set up the connectivity then simply connecting is not sufficient you will be implementing some protocols like routing protocols if you are doing routing in the case of switching you have some stp there are different protocols which are by default enabled which allows you to forward because you have to assign an ip address you have to configure the routing protocols you configure the vlans to separate the traffic so these all come under this and after that you are going to run the applications which are going to run like you are running some kind of video conferencing application on your network and these applications will work depending upon the network whatever you set up right so the end requirement of setting up the network is to ensure that your applications or the end users applications or whatever the uh, resources you are trying to access over the network so those are working those should be working fine so most of the time these applications normally works but again the applications may may not work as per the requirements if there is some kind of network related issues like maybe uh, the application may not work if there is a bandwidth requirement is high and your network is not having enough bandwidth to process or maybe that particular path is not having the required bandwidth to forward the traffic so so the applications may work may not work it depends upon your network again but again these two are like separate process so the applications and the network are totally separated means if there is any application requirement i'm not going to say to the network that i got this requirement so you please change the forwarding path so these two are like uh, separated and also in the future you you may want some kind of a policy you need to apply maybe a security policy should be applied for specific applications later on and these policies may vary for different different uh, requirements or different different types of applications so this is a kind of traditional network so this is a kind of traditional network what we generally use 
And one of the problem with this traditional network is the application requirements will keep changing. Like let's say this, I'm running some XYZ application, which is the main core application in my company network. Maybe I'm, I'm working for a company which hosts video conferencing applications. And this core application requirement may change depending upon the number of uh, users connect. Right, because let's say I have a clients, let's say I have some 1000 clients in my network. According to that, my network has been set up, designed, and it's working fine with this. So maybe in the future, next two years, this the number of clients may go, may double, maybe 2000 or 5000 like that. That again, that, that's where the problem comes. Okay, so the requirement may change uh, dynamically. So we need, uh, we need something uh, these th these policies should dynamically change based on the requirements so what i want is if the application requirement is uh is not let's say if the application requirement is using the specific path and if there is any kind of delay or if there is some problem i want this to be used as an alternate path so i want my network device like router to change the routing path dynamically depending upon the application requirements or change some kind of quality of service policies like give priority to specific traffic or change the reservation the bandwidth reservations or change the bandwidth requirements so you want uh, some kind of dynamic policies to be applied according to the requirement of the applications but in normal traditional network applications we, we do configure some quality of service but this is more like a static policy and when the requirement changes you need to identify and then you need to manually change again so there is a lot of manual intervention is required here so this is one one kind of challenge you generally see so with sdn we are going to overcome these challenges so with sdn how we are going to overcome the these issues like now let's take the same example the similar example with sdn now the software defined networking uh, like nothing but automation so we are going to still have the same basic network like we still have uh, the networking devices we still design the network we still connect them and then we implement some kind of routing to provide the reachability so this is something uh, the core network we can say the core network you configure the VLANs, those kind of things. So on the top of it, so probably on the top of the existing network, we are going to set up something called SDN, the Software Defined Networking. So with the help of SDN, the Software Defined Networking, what we are going to do is we are going to tell that particular applications or the application of the softwares which are, which are going to decide uh, the forwarding path or we can say the applications are going to interact with network. So it's like, uh, by default there is a separation applications have no control over the network unless administrator comes and says this application requires more bandwidth i go and say okay change the bandwidth requirement on the network so manually you have to do normally but here the the manual intervention is no more so there's no more manual so the applications are going to interact with the network like they are going to talk to each other and then the application is going to say that, okay, this particular application is going to tell this is my requirement. So some requirement, maybe you want this, this amount of bandwidth required for this application right now. Maybe that can change next time. But right now, this is the amount of bandwidth which I require for a proper working of that particular application. Or maybe whenever you run this application, you need to apply this security policy and this security policy says that okay this application is only accessible to specific users or specific uh, users or specific servers only you can access specific servers something like that or maybe the quality of service policy so it can be anything i'm just listing few of these options here now based on this particular requirement now the controller of course you you do have something called controller the controller so probably the controller will be aware of this requirement. So the controller will get these requirements. And this controller is going to dynamically tell these devices 
dynamically to apply few few changes like maybe it can tell okay change this particular route or add the routing table new route entry or the new forwarding path so don't use this path because this path is not having enough bandwidth so use this path okay or apply this particular quality of service policy because according to that application requirement you have to change the policy a little bit or maybe you need to change you need to add this particular security policy for this particular application okay so now here the application is going to decide how the network is going to forward the traffic so in, in simple words probably I'll, I'll talk more on this uh, in the later on like control plane data plane separation so these devices they actually forward they only forward just like in the traditional network also they do forward but in SDN also they will be forwarding but actually the decision will be taken by the controller so the controller is going to take the decision not the router like normally the router maintains some kind of routing table and this routing table it will you have what is the next hop and what's the exit interface according to that it will route or based on the based on the configurations what you do on the router so it's no more like router router can be a dumb device it depends where it will just do the forwarding where the actual decisions will be taken by the centralized uh, software running on the controller we call this as sdn controller so technically that is what we call as sdn controller and and this is what the sdn the software defined networking where the softwares are going to control the hardware devices or the networking devices what they should do how they should forward the same thing so so with the sdn as i said the network administrator or the engineer can shape the traffic from the centralized cons console that is from controller we call it as technically sdn controller without going to individual devices to make any changes means we are not going to these devices so there is uh, some kind of communication so this controller is going to push the policies uh, push the configurations to these devices and they they just act according to the controller and there's no more a manual uh, you don't need to touch individual devices it can be switches routers or any other devices so that's what software defined networking is what uh, makes this network automation possible so in other words we can also define the sdn as the same thing like network devices if you if i just describe the same scenario what what i have explained here the same thing in the in the points here so all these networking devices will do forwarding. The forward the messages, uh, typically Ethernet frames or IP packets in the case of routing. So what we are doing is with the help of a network programmability or with the help of SDN, we are going to take those particular ideas and what we are going to do is we are going to rearrange, it means the decision is not taken by the individual devices. So the controller will take the particular decision. So all the ideas, uh, analyze these pieces and you know probably this control is going to analyze all the individual uh, requirements and then it's going to figure out what is the best way to forward as per the requirement and then re reassemble all those things and it's going to uh, decide how the forwarding or the networking should work so at the end you will see the devices will still forward the traffic but it's a kind of rearrangement of uh, the the way it forwards the packets because the network is going to still forward the messages but how it is going to forward and and those things has been changed so how and why has have changed here so with sdn with the software defined networking the network engineer can shape the traffic from a centralized console as i said the centralized uh, console uh, we call it as sdn controller from where we can we can actually shape how the traffic should get forwarded without actually touching any of the individual devices.